Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, what I got here is another circuit on my little board here. It's a RL series circuit and um, resistance looks like it's 7 ohms. XL is 6 ohms, 120 volts. Uh, what we're going to do quite quickly here is calculate the impedance of the circuit, the current in the circuit, the two voltage drops, ER and EXL, and then we're going to calculate the phase angle and I'm going to do it, you know, a little bit quickly, I guess you could say. So uh, let's do this. The first thing I'm going to do is calculate Z. Z is going to be the phasor sum of these two. I'm going to do it right over here. Uh, my resistor, by the way, well, we're always going to be comparing these to the current. My resistor is always, always, always going to be on the horizontal line. The resistor always causes the current to be in phase. And so my resistor, 7 ohms, is going to sit right here. R equals 7 ohms. The inductor is always going to be a vertical line. It's always going to be tip to tail. Since the current through the inductor is always going to lag, it's going to be drawn up so that the current is clockwise by 90, but I got to move it tip to tail. So it's going to go right here, 6 ohms. The sum of the two is going to be this line right here, and it'll be the impedance in the circuit. It's going to be 7 squared plus 6 squared, square root. 7 squared plus 6 squared equals square root. I'm making these calculations off the, off the side here. 9.2, uh, you know, 2 ohms, okay? You can never just add these up, guys. It's always got to be phasers. So there's my 9.22 ohms, um, and that goes right here. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is calculate the current in the circuit. We're going to do it using Ohm's law. The circuit current will always be E total divided by, you know, R total in quotes. It's now Z. So this is going to be 120 over 9.22. 120 divided by 9.22 equals, looks like 13 amps. The next thing we're going to calculate is the voltage dropping across the resistor. It's going to use Ohm's law. ER is going to be I times R. And so in this case, it's going to be 13 times 7. 13 times 7 equals 91 volts. EXL is going to be I times XL. And so it's going to be 13 times 6 equals, 13 times 6 equals, 78 volts. The phase angle is going to be opposite over adjacent, inverse 10. So opposite is always going to be XL, guys, uh, because XL is always going to be the vertical side. We're always interested in this angle right down here. So it's opposite over adjacent, inverse tan. It's going to be 6 over 7. 6 divided by 7 equals shift tan equals 40.6 degrees. Now, there's one more calculation I can do if I want to. It will check my work. Um, the sum of the voltage drops should equal the voltage rise. So if I want to, I can draw one more phasor diagram. It will look like this. We're going to compare them to the current. The voltage dropping across the resistor will be in phase with the current. There's my ER. It's equal to 91 volts. My inductor will always be the vertical line. It's going to sit here, but I'm going to move it tip to tail. So it's going to sit right here. This is EXL. It's equal to 78 volts. And this should be my total voltage, the sum of the two. And it should be 91 squared plus 78 squared square root. So I'm going to do that right now. 91 squared plus 78 squared equals root equals. Says 119.85, close enough. It's 120 volts. There's a little tiny bit of rounding there. 
who cares? Okay, guys? And if I want to double check this angle, it should be 78 over 91, inverse tan. Let's try that for a second. 78 divided by 91 equals shift tan equals, and I'm getting 40.6 volt or degrees. Perfect. This is Eric signing out. Uh, there'll be some homework related to these uh, to this lesson, and it'll be, you know, look on Conestoga, and I uh, will sign the homework there. But it's the next handout. I don't know, something like Unit Three, handout mm, mm, ten. I can't remember. Just uh, go by what I put on Econostoga, okay, guys? And signing out for now. Have a good day.